right over, okay? It will have the, uh, the creases, so you can't screw it up. You can't screw it up, all right? So we'll, we'll fold it in half. This one's actually breaking, so we're good. We'll finish cutting. Now, if you look, there is easily seen shiny side. <laughs> Dull side, okay? Rough side. And we'll cut this one too, so I have a couple. Now, the only difference I can say between me and that chef. Stone? No. Do you think he was stone? Yes. <laughs> uh, I just think he was camera shy. I think so. I think he was nervous. Okay. So we'll put it near the the edge, right? Now, with the rice, before you grab it, take your hands right into the uh, the vinegar water, or your hands will stick really bad to it. And you take, this is actually still warm, so we really should let it cool for a minute or two more, but I'm gonna demo it just so we can, you guys can see. So lightly pack it like this, but not squeeze, okay? So it's lightly together. See how it will fall apart if I just touch it? Yeah, that's all we have. Yeah, it has a few minutes to, to cool down. We can make a couple just for practice. I would put your hands back in the, the vinegar water every once in a while. He called for you guys, I'm gonna demo it two different ways. He called for you guys with your right hand, your hand that your strong hand, you actually put the rice down on the opposite side and slowly squeeze and pull it over like this. Okay? But again, just like him, I didn't like mess with it big time. Then I'm going to put my hands back in here and slowly just spread it a little bit down and a little bit up. Okay, I'm not worried if it doesn't hit the whole nori. Mm -hmm. Okay? See how there's some holes? Then, we can put a couple pieces of tuna. Typically, a lot of times you'll have um, some uh, wasabi on the inside, so you can take a little bit and smear it on the inside if you want. If you don't like spice, then I wouldn't necessarily do that. Okay, and then you can be what as creative as you want. You can put a a little bit of green onion in there if you wanted to. Maybe a little carrot. Again, whatever you want to put in in your uh, your roll. Now the big thing here is see how I left a little edge here. Now some sushi chefs will actually take a little bit of rice and they'll push it into the edge here and smear it and that acts as glue. Okay, you don't have to do that but some will. Next, you want this almost in the middle so like you don't want it on the edge like that. Okay. With your thumbs underneath and your fingers holding the middle, it's one quick loop around. So I'm gonna think this corner to right here. Really quick, just one time around, done. See how quickly that was? One little firm hold down and then See how it's almost full? I'm just gonna finish it by a little roll and then push it again down like that. Now you can tell how how um how perfect they are. Yeah, I'll I'll help work with each one of you guys. By 
how in the center everything is. It should be really be in the center. There shouldn't be um, a lot of rice sticking out. Okay. So then when you cut it, he said to take it, tap so that that goes on the edge. Have it down the middle. So you can look, I wasn't perfect. My scallion was perfect, but actually the tuna's a little bit off. Then you can take it and do thirds. Now because our rice is a little bit warm, um, we can let it cool for a second or we can just try to get the technique down. I don't care, it's, it's the same technique. But your um, nori is actually getting a little bit steamed because of it. Okay? Yeah. So again, down like this, you cut to serve. Classically, there'd be two on the side like this. Got it. Okay, we could get a, a, cool, step by step. a, a nicer plate if you wanted to. But, okay. Um, typically, you would put a little bit of uh, wasabi down because people like to mix the wasabi into their soy sauce to make it spicy, or they might smear it onto their uh, their um, their sushi. You can take and make a design out of it if you want. It's sort of like Play-Doh. And then typically, you would also serve it with some pickled ginger. Except that little roses on the side of the top. Yeah. 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 You're born here. We're standing there ordering a sub at Harris Teeter. I watch this guy roll up like 10 of these in about 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Once you get good, it doesn't take that long, okay? All right, I'll go get some soy sauce, but I want you to practice rolling and rolling and rolling. That's why I have all that rice, okay?